you've written a play which is exploring this whole issue. So you said trans rights, and then you said women's rights, and the supposed conflict, I think they were the words that you used, or this apparent conflict. And yet to not contact those of us that have been fighting for decades as feminists to uphold, in fact, some of us built those women-only spaces that have now been invaded by and put at risk by trans activists, red crisis centres, women's refuges, women's prisons, hospital wards, changing rooms. Those of us that have fought to maintain those, I would have thought that maybe if you were looking at a kind of a dialogue within this fictionalised piece, that you might have actually made an attempt to look at what we are saying and why, but clearly not. Josh, do you want to respond to that? Not really. I think that Julie's just using this as a podium, as a, you know, this is this is just pretty Sorry? typical. You're just using this a to... podium? To, We're having yeah. a discussion on TV. No, this is spectator that, TV. This is supposed is to be... You're, you're telling me what I did and what I what I plan to do. And Sorry, I, did you contact women who'd been fighting yes, for single nobody, sex spaces nobody, nobody, prior nobody to writing the play, Josh? No, not prior to writing the play. No. Right. So you wrote the play with having spoken to who? Just in your head? Just in, your yes, idea my, about what trans rights are and right. how these horrible women who just want to take away the rights of marginalised groups, how you they still have operated? Seen the play. You haven't read the play. You don't know anything about the play and you don't know me at all. <laughs> right. But you, but you definitely um, d- wrote a play that explores the conflict did you but didn't speak to any of the women that have been fighting against gender ideology and the invasion of men in women's spaces at first you just decided to write a play that you labeled turf that you called turf in the first instance and that you focused on a woman who has had death and rape threats. Incidentally, many of us have had them. As I say, this isn't about one woman who has decided to take on this fight on her own as the superhero. That's what men tend to do. This is a woman who is part of a feminist movement who herself has spoken out about being raped and and sexually assaulted and experienced domestic abuse. But you throw in some fictionalised version of her ex husband, the violent one, presumably, you don't talk to any feminists and you put this play on and you expect that we're supposed to just take you in good faith. I mean, come on. 